Friends, hello, let's dig right into what's going on with SoFi, man. We are touching this $8.40.30 zone right now with SoFi. And SoFi is loving these rate cuts. It is loving these rate cuts, but let's not kid ourselves. SoFi is still a little bit of a dangerous situation. I think everyone in the market right now is literally, it's like that scene in the office where they're all holding up guns toward you each other you know everyone they don't know what to move that no one knows where to go you know do you go this way that way should i sell should i not sell should i buy more what what should i do right now so the whole market it's it's the market's doing good in general i mean it's doing good we have not seen any signs of destruction coming which there's a plenty of those videos and everyone's like sell it all get out of town get out of here those videos are up there and I do have concerns about those situations that, you know, this could turn around for the worst. That's a very real possibility, obviously. Like I've been saying, this these next two months are going to be very crucial for SoFi. It's gonna, for the whole market, but SoFi more than in general because of one big element. We have the election coming up and then on top of that, you know, we're supposed to have more rate cuts here before the end of the year and then next year we're going to have more rate cuts so for survival of sofi right now it needs it needs these continuations of rate cuts that's what sofi is looking for it's literally feeding sofi right now it is a bank and that is you know however you want to cut it that's what sofi needs right now it needs these rate cuts that is the black and white picture of it so with that, SoFi is doing good. It's doing very good. Um, I, I think the one question right now in the situation is how much support and how much trust is going into SoFi? Because, you know, a lot of the comments that I get and that I see on, you know, these, uh, you know, like Weebles, you know, uh, stock twits, a lot of people are just wanting to get rid of SoFi. They're just wanting to get rid of their bags. And listen, I, I can't complain or, or say anything bad about people that just want to get out. I, a lot of people have been holding SoFi at $10, a high $9 for, you know, four years now. You know, th th this has been a long situation with SoFi. So I trust me, I feel you when people go like, I just want to get out and start over. And, you know, even, even if I have to start over it, I'm fine with that. But I would rather take a risk that SoFi is going to have another sell off here. So that is the question. Should you buy more right now? and not miss the boat or should you sell out of your bags when you hit that mark with SoFi. So it's only been two days. It's only been real, really one good trading day, but it's been two days here in the market um, with these rate cuts, day and a half. We'll just cut it in half, we'll say a day and a half. Now SoFi did good today. SoFi did very good. Um, SoFi did so good, it touched this 844 zone, split of a second. Um, actually 846 it hit. Um, but with that, that's a very high mark. We have not seen that in quite some time with SoFi. SoFi has not been at $9 since back last year, around December of last year, when we had uh, those good quarterlies and SoFi came out uh, with a whole news uh, uh, article, everything, and CEO talk. So it kind of it pumped up where SoFi was planning to go into this year. And that's when the Fed was talking about rate cuts last year, too. They were talking about having rate cuts pretty soon, but they just kept pushing them back. So with that, um, here we are now. We had the first rate cut. It's not a huge one, but there are more on the way from what we're hearing. Towards the end of the day, SoFi had some sell-off, and it closed today around this uh, 818, 819, playing around there still even after hours. So it's not terrible. It's not terrible by any means. Um, and, and obviously, here's here's the thing that I, I think is gonna happen I think SoFi is gonna be jumping around quite a bit I mean if you're day trading SoFi you're doing great uh, I mean these are insane huge moves throughout a daily pattern with SoFi I mean my god you know just this morning you could have bought SoFi uh, around you know eight dollars and 19 cents and sold it today for double at around you know over 840 uh, so that that is a huge markup for short sellers in that day traders getting in and getting it out um, or scalping wherever you're trying to make your money but that is one thing that's going to be very hard here on SoFi until we see some bigger money until we see big money walk in here um, SoFi is going to hit these big peaks where we hit like 840 today and when we did that, we probably unlocked some doors for people to where they were like, oh, 840, I'm at 860. I'm just going to go ahead and sell out and take what I can get. 
And that's probably what we're seeing. We're seeing a lot of old shares being sold off. Shares that you know that have been sitting there people that have been back holding and they're like I just want to get free I know this because people have been telling me this in my personal life I've seen it on comments on my videos I've seen it on you know these uh, c community chat sites where people are talking about stock I think that's a very real thing right now where people are just like I don't care about what SoFi is doing right now there's still a lot that has to happen and there's still very real situations of devastation that could happen here in the market so talking about the devastation that could happen here should you buy more SoFi if you're in SoFi for the long run yeah who cares buy it hold it it's going to be fine SoFi is going to be just fine this is a growing company and they're going to be doing killer things here as we continue to see these rate cuts now short term wanting to raise more capital in SoFi wanting to get in at the lowest price possible let's talk do I think SoFi will probably have another massive sell-off I do I do a little bit I, I think so I think the market in general is gonna have one more dump before this election I think the market is gonna have one more shakeout until we get this election done with now good news with that whoever wins the election we know january will bring big numbers in the market that's just how it happens in the market and right now we should see a good market going into next year of course there's a lot of people making videos talking about a stagnant economy stagnant rates all that kind of stuff and that is possible but we're not seeing signs of that right now and it's better to be on the upper side and you know not see the doom and gloom but really don't miss out on situations right now and that could happen here in the next few weeks obviously I've said this before and I, I this is gonna sound biased regardless but it is what it is and this has been said by the CEO of SoFi so I'm not saying I'm not making up news this is out there you can type it up on YouTube it's gonna come right up SoFi is betting on a Trump win. SoFi wants Trump to win. That is just how it is. With his policies, where he's going, SoFi will do better. SoFi will jump just off that. So if we were to see Trump win in November, I would not be shocked to see SoFi jump $12 that night. If we wake up the next morning in November and it says, hey, looks like Trump has pulled this thing off, don't be shocked to see SoFi at $12. So this is kind of where I lead to my next hint right here is that these next few weeks, especially in October, you're going to have room to sell, to buy, sell, to buy, and try to rack up as much as you can in SoFi. You know, sell it, get some capital, let it fall, buy back in, lower rate, wherever you want to be, put some money into it, try to gather as many shares as you can as possible. But I will tell you that last week of October going into November, be very careful. Be very careful because if Trump does pull out a win here, SoFi may stay a double digit number after that. Um, SoFi might go to $10 to $12 and then it may run hard in January. It may freaking run hard, especially here's the other two things you have to be aware of. And this is why it's very dangerous to sell out of SoFi. But if you are, I get it. I, I'm not telling you what to do, but I get why people would sell out right now and try to raise more capital or just, you know, buying in a lower rate. We have quarterlies coming up here in October with SoFi. We expect them to be good. We ex they may not be amazing, but we expect them to be good and not be bad. So that's pause. On top of that too, right around the corner after those quarterlies, Trump could win the election. So these are two remarkable, amazing things that could happen to SoFi um, and that would jump it dramatically overnight. So going into 2025, SoFi could be somewhat of a little uh, Palantir stock. You know, the, and I, I say that, obviously, let me break that apart here for the people that are right in the comments, I can hear it. Two different companies, two different things, obviously. But there was a long time where we were buying Palantir at six, seven dollars, and we were like, geez, is this ever going to freaking do anything? I mean, I remember having those conversations a few years back where we're like, you know, this company's doing good, it's growing, blah, 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 but is it ever going to freaking do anything? And then out of nowhere, they got the right deals, they got the right quarterlies, they got the right leadership, they got the right picture. And that's what we're seeing line up right now is SoFi. So, don't be shocked to see SoFi get very expensive here in the next few months. But the next few weeks, expect, hey, there might be some devastation and sell-off. So if you're buying in at 840, just know 
you're going to be okay in the long run. That's all I can say to you. Friends, I'm going to shut up now. I wish all of you the best of luck. Um, I will talk about some more stocks lately. I'm just talking about SoFi because it, it's, re it's really that stock that everyone's watching right now. Literally everyone is watching SoFi because we've been sitting here and waiting for rate cuts for SoFi to do something, to shoot live life in it. And we're seeing it and it's exciting. It's exciting to see it happen. Friends, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.